Hello and welcome to our Fun Fact Friday of today. So today our question is, how do cetacean distinguish the sound source in the aquatic environment? Well, I think everyone has experienced at least once the disorienting feeling of hearing some sound underwater and not being able to locate its source. On land, on the other hand, it's quite easy to detect where the sounds come from. So how do whales can actually uh, distinguish the sound source? Or are they actually able to do that? Well, yes. First of all, we need to understand how sounds travel through materials. It actually travels by sound pressure. So different materials have different acoustic impedance, where acoustic impedance is given by the product of the density and acoustic velocity. To make it easier to understand, uh, just imagine the sound comes from this direction. Because the acoustic impedance of air and the animal tissue, and in this case, my face, is very different, the sounds, when it reaches my face, goes backwards. So there is a reflection. So in this way, it creates a sound shadow to the opposite side, which means that the intensity and the quality of sounds is, of course, different from the right side and the left side. Yeah. So I'm actually able to locate that the sounds was coming from the right side. What happens in the water? Well, the acoustic impedance of water is actually pretty similar to that of animal tissue. So in this case, the sounds when reaches uh, a target, in this case a face or one of cetaceans, for example, it passes through. So the sound waves pass through the animal tissue. In this way, the sound is basically diffuse and it's not possible to understand where it comes from. So cetaceans, to avoid this uh, problem, they uh, evolved a system. They basically have uh, their internal ears, which is uh, acoustically isolated from the rest of the skull. They have basically foam-filled air spaces, which acts as it would be on air. So basically, when the sounds come from one direction and reaches the internal ear of uh, a dolphin, uh, the detection of the sounds uh, resemble that on land. Basically, the sounds reflect backwards and it creates, again, a sound shadow on the opposite side. So in this way, the dolphin is able to detect differences in intensity and quality of the sounds. So, of course, is able to detect the location, so where the sound comes from. So, that was the question of today and uh, thank you very much for your attention and if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you and see you next week.